Hello and welcome. Wow, I've never quieted a room that quickly. Uh, welcome to the next wonderful installment in the Authors at series uh, here at Google. Um, I, it is my uh, extreme pleasure to introduce um, someone that I've admired for, for many, many years, um, a chef, an innovator, uh, renowned for his restaurant uh, El Bulli in Rosas in Catalonia in Spain, uh, which very sadly uh, closed in July of this year, disappointing the um, more than million people every year that tried to get reservations. Um, it is, uh, I think this, it's appropriate that we would have as our guest today, uh, Ferran Adria, um, because his life has been built around innovation and creating community through food, just like Google, where every day we join together to share food, to share ideas, to assume that no idea is a bad one until it is, and then the next one will come up. Um, uh, Chef Adria is, uh, is traveling around to talk about his new book, The Family Meal, which I will hold up in the proper form of author's talks, which will be available for sale at a deeply discounted price of 15 pounds uh, at the entrance to the canteen at the end of this talk. Uh, the book is just now being released um, all around the world, so we get a first early crack at seeing it. Um, uh, Farhan will talk to us a bit about uh, his history, where he's going, and what's going to happen on the site of El Bouilly now that it is no longer a restaurant. Um, it's an exciting path ahead. I'm pleased to have him join us. Afterwards, um, if you buy a book and you want to have it signed, you can line up in the center here. I'll remind you of that at the end. So please join me in welcoming one of the greatest innovators today, Ferran Adria. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. Firstly, thank you to everyone for being here today. A ver, a ver si de una vez logran hacer traductores, pero no por Google, sino por así en directo. <laughs> Maybe one day somebody will be able to translate digitally. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Porque my English no, mi English no mejora, no mejora. His, his English isn't getting better. Bueno, vamos a intentar pasar un buen rato. So we're going to try and have some fun. ¿no? Y a ver si alguna pequeña reflexión puede servir para, bueno, para, para que penséis un poquito. ¿no? And some of these thoughts and ideas will make you think and develop other ideas. <laughs> Todo el mundo sabe de cocina. Everybody seems to know about cuisine and cooking. Vosotros cuando llegáis a casa, vuestra familia no discute sobre tecnología. When you get back, when you get home, I'm sure your families don't argue or discuss technology with you. No, nuestros amigos no discuten. They don't argue, your friends don't argue either. Bueno, y con, contra más trabajo complejo hagáis, mmm, peor. And the more complex you work, the worse it will be. No, sobre cocina todo el mundo discute. But everybody argues and discusses cuisine. Mis amigos me discuten cada día. His friends argue with Ferran every day. Entonces, tengo, yo tengo una aproximación con, ¿no? con, con la sociedad y con la, con la cocina muy extraña. So Ferran has a very strange... Uh, um, different kind of attitude to food. Porque yo soy de lo, creo que no sé nada de cocina. Because he believes he doesn't know much about cooking or y la, food. Y la gente cree que sabe mucho. And people, most people seem to think they know a lot. Uh, vamos a hacer un pequeño, voy a, vamos a demostrar que no sabemos, yo no sé nada. So I'm going to prove to you that I don't know that much. Esto es una naranja. So this is an orange. ¿Sabéis cuántos tipos de cítricos hay en el mundo? Do you know how many different kinds of citrus fruits there are in the world? Cítricos, no nada. Citrus nada. fruits. Ni idea. No idea. Que no busquéis por Google, ¿eh? Don't, <laughs> don't Google it. <laughs> hay alguien que está haciendo, ¿eh? <laughs> hay 2.500 tipos. There are 2.500 different types. ¿Sabéis cuántos tipos de naranja hay? Do you know how many different types of oranges? Más de mil. More than a thousand. Por lo que figuraos, si solo de un producto. Just one uh, product or ingredient. Es imposible saber. So it's impossible to know everything there is hay una, to know. Hay un ejemplo muy fácil que lo entendéis que es el vino. There's another good example with wine. Con un producto que es la uva. For example, with a product like grapes. Hasta los expertos más expertos más expertos del mundo 
no saben. Even the world's top experts don't seem to know everything there is to know. Bueno, sabemos un poquito más que los demás. But these people, they know a little bit more than most. ¿De dónde, de dónde es originaria la naranja? Do you know where oranges originally come from? De España, ¿no? Sí, sí, y yo soy, ¿no? Tom Ford, sí, sí. Spain and France, Tom Ford, right? De la China. They're originally from China. ¿Y quién los incorporó a Europa? Do you know who brought them to Europe? Los árabes. The Arabs, not Marco Polo. Sí, sí, estamos aquí, es que estáis unos chicos, somos todos, yo me incluyo, muy cultos, muy all, modernos. We all consider ourselves very cultured, very knowledgeable. No, no, que nos gusta aprender. And we like to learn. Estamos abiertos. We're open-minded. Y no tenemos ni idea de esto. But we have no idea what we're talking about. ¿Alguna vez le hemos dicho, <risa> alguna vez le hemos dado las gracias al mundo árabe? Have we ever given thanks to the Arab world? No. No. Porque estás una naranja. Entonces, esta es la primera cosa que vamos a hablar de cocina, pero yo no tengo ni idea de cocina. So we're going to talk about cooking and food, but I have, uh, Fran has no idea about food. Yo estaba estudiando económicas. Fran started studying economics. Bueno, y me quería ir de vacaciones a Ibiza. He wanted to go on holiday to Ibiza. Y para pagarme las vacaciones busqué un trabajo. And in order to get some extra money to pay for the trip, he got a job. Y fue, encontré de fega plata. And he started out as a dishwasher. Mi idea era... Aquello, trabajar un tiempo, ganar dinero para irme a Ibiza. His idea was to work for some time, make enough money to go and spend it on his holiday. Me di cuenta que había, había que trabajar. But he realized that he had to keep working. Me dije, pues bueno, pues voy a continuar. And he decided to continue. En ningún momento, era, mi, mi pasión era la cocina. He, uh, his passion for cooking didn't start at that time. No tuve ningún maestro, como entendemos maestro. He didn't have a master or a, a teacher. Y esto fue fundamental para mi trayectoria. And this was a fundamental development in his career. Porque me exigió preguntarme siempre el porqué de las cosas. And that caused him to continuously ask himself questions about things. Y continuó. And he continues to ah. ask himself. Eh, tenía 20 años, fui al servicio militar. When he was 20, he went to the military service, to the army. Estuve de cocinero también. He was a cook at the army. Uh, en el mes de agosto del 83 fui a hacer un stage al Bulli. And at, in 1983 he went in his summer break uh, during his military service he went to the Bulli as a stagiaire. Me propusieron eh, ir a trabajar en el año 74 cuando acababa el servicio militar. And in 1984 when he finished his military service uh, he was offered a job there. Y fui a trabajar el mes de marzo. And that year in March he started working there. Y con 22 años, el mes de octubre del 84, era jefe de cocina. El 22 de octubre. No, the, con, no con 22 años, el mes de octubre del, 90, right. del 84. Y en 22, en el mes de octubre de ese mismo año, él ya era jefe de la cocina. Va a hacer volar un poco la imaginación. So use your imagination. Muchos de vosotros no habéis nacido. Most of you weren't casi, born casi. that year. Año 84. 1984. España. Spain. ¿Eh? 22 años. He was 22. Jefe de cocina. And he was head of the kitchen. De uno de los restaurantes que ya en España era importante. It was already an important uh, restaurant at that time in Spain. Eh, el cómo, el por qué es muy, ah, no, es muy largo explicar. It's rather lengthy to go into the explanations of why and reasons and so on. En aquella época la alta cocina solo era francesa. But at that time, haute cuisine, high-end cuisine was French, only French. Durante cinco siglos. And that's how it had been for the, for, for the past five centuries. So, en Occidente. In the Western world. Eh, hice mimetismo. So he started copying and imitating. Y hice cocina francesa hasta que un día fui a una conferencia como esta. And he, uh, he imitated and in French cuisine until one day he attended a conference very much like the one you're attending today. Y aquí estaba un cocinero francés. And there was a French chef. Y uno de, un chico de aquí le preguntó a él And there was a, a young man who asked this French chef ¿Qué es la creatividad? Who asked him, what is creativity? What does creativity mean? Y le dijo, creatividad es no copiar. And uh, this chef replied, creativity means not copying. Es una, una frase muy, muy tonta. It's a very stupid, silly um, sentence. Muy, muy simple. Might seem simple. Yo he escrito no sé cuántos libros sobre, sobre creatividad. 
Ferran has written a lot of books about creativity. He oído hablar a los mejores creativos del mundo. He's also attended uh, talks by some of the world's top uh, creatives. Ahora este noviembre voy a dar clases a Harvard sobre creatividad. And this November he will do, be doing lectures at Harvard on creativity. Y sigue siendo la mejor frase que he oído nunca. And it still remains the best sentence he ever heard. Como es normal, no estaban hablando de no copiar, estaba hablando de ética. Uh, as you can imagine, it, he wasn't just talking about not copying, he was talking about ethics. De, de honestidad. About being honest. Con uno mismo. With oneself. De cuando te levantes por la mañana y te miras al espejo. When you get up in the morning and you look at yourselves in the mirror. Ser ético con la creatividad. You have to be ethical with creativity. Una palabra que también odio. Another word he hates. Porque al final lo que se trata es de hacer cosas. Because it's all about really, it's about doing things. A mí como me dé alguien una tarjeta y que ponga creativo, es que la tiro. If uh, somebody hands a, a card to Ferran that says he's a creative director or something like that, he throws it away. A mí me gusta la gente normal que hace cosas extraordinarias. He likes normal people who do extraordinary things. Pero no, y la creatividad, por ser creativo, no eres mejor que nadie. And if you're doing uh, creativity, it doesn't make you better than anybody else. ¿Eh? Bueno, entonces esto es un poco... Como yo pienso, ¿no? This is un poco con la creatividad. Haferan thinks in his relationship with creativity. Ahora vamos a hacer, vamos a poner un vídeo, un poco para explicaros el porqué de la... Bueno, perdón, perdón, sorry. Just a second. Sorry. Bueno, entonces os situáis año 87. So, 1987. El Bulli, un restaurante de cocina francesa. The, the Bulli, which was doing French cuisine at the time. Nouvelle cuisine. It was doing Nouvelle cuisine. Ferran empieza a pensar un poco. And Ferran started thinking a little bit. ¿Eh? Entonces empiezan a pasar cosas. And something started changing. Estamos en la Costa Brava, en Rosas. This is the Costa Brava, Rosas. Bueno, y claro, allí es un sitio de, de verano. And uh, this is a very popular holiday uh, destination. Y en el año 87 decidi decidimos cerrar seis meses. In 1987, they decided to close for six months. ¿Sabes por qué? And the reason, do you know, no venía nadie. can you imagine? Porque no venía nadie. Nobody was coming to the restaurant. Sí, claro, era un sitio de, de invierno y tal, y esto nos motivó a cerrar. And so this was a reason for closing during the winter months. Esto fue una decisión muy importante porque por primera vez tuvimos tiempo And this was an important para pensar. An important reason and development because it allowed them to time to think. En el año 93 nos damos cuenta que si quieres conducir un, si quieres ganar la Fórmula 1 tienes que tener un Fórmula 1. And in uh, 1993 they they realized that if they wanted to uh, drive in a Formula 1 they needed a Formula 1 car. En nuestro caso es una cocina. And in this case it was a kitchen. Las cocinas antes de este año eran el sitio más horroroso del mundo. Kitchens before this time they were not grim places they were y, not very nice. Y estoy contento porque sabes, ahora que estoy en Google yo estaba en San Francisco en Google. And I'm really happy today because I was at uh, Google. Que es una referencia. San Francisco. La gran referencia para mí junto con Harvard. Uh, which he considers to be a great reference together with Harvard. Creo que tenemos unas oficinas tan bonitas como las vuestras al menos. Uh, they have the, the nicest office as nice as, nice as your own. Eh, es decir, dijimos que tenemos que trabajar 15 horas. They decided if they have to spend 15 hours of their day working, a tener un sitio maravilloso. they wanted a really marvelous place. <coughs> Casi 20 años después es la cocina a nivel de arquitectura más vanguardista del mundo. And architecturally, uh, it's one of the most avant-garde places you can find. Vamos creando. Papá. So we continue uh, developing creando. and creating. Cada vez más, cada vez más. Continuously. Cada vez más. Y nos damos cuenta que no podemos combinar producción y creatividad. And they realize that they cannot continue to combine creativity and production. Claro, para vosotros es muy normal. Aquí los que dedicáis a crear es But muy normal. Es normal que tengáis todo el día para crear. For those of you who have creative jobs, it might seem normal you have enough time to spend on that creativity, right? En la cocina no funciona así, ¿eh? But in a, a kitchen, a professional kitchen, it's not that way. Yo empiezo a las nueve de la mañana. Fran will start at nine in the morning. Y tengo que producir. And he has to start producing. Me tengo que cuidar del marketing. He has to take care of his marketing. Me tengo que cuidar de la prensa. He has to care of the press. Me tengo que cuidar de todo. Bueno, and y también tengo que crear. And he has to take care of everything. Y también tengo que, crea que crear. And at the same time, be creative. Esto cuando era un nivel pequeño, se podía hacer. 
When this wasn't at such a high level, it was possible. Cada vez se va complicando más. But things got harder and harder. Y el nivel de exigente y creativo es muy, muy complejo. And the amount of creative pressure became de much bigger. Decidimos separar la creatividad de la producción. Play. Yes, so we decided to separate creativity and production. Y hacemos un taller. And they created a taller, a workshop. De creatividad en cocina. That was dedicated to creativity in Empezamos cuisine. en el año 98 con una silla y una mesa. In 1998, they started with a table and a chair. Y en el año 2000 hacemos uno ya pues, un poco más importante. And in 2000 they created one which was es, which had more entity. Es el primer taller de cocina de la historia. And this is the first uh, culinary workshop in the history of cuisine. Es la primera vez que la, la gente crea sin que nadie venga a comer. It's the first time people are developing and creating and are not serving diners. Y después, a los seis meses, llevamos esto al restaurante. After six months of work at the taller, they would then take these developments to producir. the restaurant to produce. En, hay una decisión, el Bui empieza a ser famoso. Then the Bui becomes famous. Conocido, tal. Empieza las reservas. And the reservation, the problem with reservation started. Y cogemos y decimos... No, es lo lógico. Recordad, cerramos seis meses. Cerramos Rem seis meses. Remember, um, he said before they closed for six months a year. ¿Qué haría una cualquier empresa? Most companies, what do you think they would uh, do? Abrir todo el año. They would open all year, right? Y nosotros no. Nosotros decimos que vamos a cerrar al mediodía. No, they decided that they were going to close for lunch as well. Y la gente dice, <laughs> la gente dice estos tíos están locos. People thought they were crazy. Entonces, ¿Por qué lo hicimos esto? The reason for this. No, no. Dejamos de ingresar, dejamos de ganar dos millones de euros al año. This meant that they were, they were, they were at a loss for a million and a half euros per year. Trasladado a Google, multiplicarlo por cien, lo que significaría. If you, if you had to apply that to Google, you multiply that by a hundred. Que tomaras esta decisión. Imagine you took this decision. ¿Ok? Eh, después, más adelante, en el bully, en un restaurante es un restaurante porque hay una carta. And then further on, uh, restaurants are normally defined as restaurants because they have a menu. No, nosotros quitamos la carta. They um, took the menu away. Es el primer gran restaurante. Dining. Es el primer gran restaurante donde no se pide. So it became the first restaurant that didn't have a la carte dining. ¿Por qué? La libertad. And the reason for this was to allow them more freedom. No, yo hago lo que quiero. Uh, Ferran decided he wanted to do and serve whatever he felt sí, like. Yo me expreso. It was his expression. Dialogamos. And he creates a dialogue with his y, diners. Y cuando yo me he expresado no te gusta, no, no te interesa, perfecto. And if uh, what he's expressed to his diners that they are not happy with, well, that's fine with him. En el año 2002 hacemos una retrospectiva. In 2002 they did a retrospective. No, en el Bulli hemos hecho 1846 recetas. In the last years, the Bui has created 1,846 different recipes. Esto es una presión creativa que no de locos. This is a really intense creative pressure. Entonces decidimos un año parar. So they decided one year they would stop. Además, estábamos haciendo un catálogo del Bui. At that time, they were they had started working on the first catalog, the Bui catalog. Que eran siete mil páginas, seis mil páginas. And it was it comprised six thousand pages. Entonces no podíamos combinar y tal. And they found it difficult to keep uh, all the activities y going. Y nos confirma que hace falta tiempo para crear. And that also confirmed that they needed time to be creative. Ya sé que para vosotros es muy normal. I know that that sounds normal to you. Pero para para la cocina no era normal. But for cuisine that wasn't normal. Entonces Empiezan en 2003. In 2003. Somos la portada del New York Times. Uh, Ferran and the Bui became uh, the front cover of the New York Times. Un reportaje de 16 páginas. A 16-page uh, special article feature. Donde es un, par, es un artículo icónico porque cambia la manera de ver la cocina en el mundo. It was an iconic article because it changed the way people perceived um, color, uh, cuisine in the world. Nos pasa, empieza todo el éxito del Bulli. And the Bulli suddenly becomes well known and successful. Y en el año 2009, and in 2009, yo empiezo a ver que pasa algo. Ferran feels that something's going on, there's something, there's a vibe. Que, que no funciona. Something's not working, something's not right. Y yo lo que hago, 
Eh, bueno, hemos trabajado muy duro durante 20 años. They worked very hard for 20 years. El equipo base se merece un premio. He decides that uh, you know the, the, the main core of his staff need a, deserve a prize. Yo también me merezco un premio. He also deserves a prize. Y nos tomamos dos años sabáticos. And they decide to take a, a two year sabbatical. Vale, normal. Esto es lo normal. That ¿no? would be the normal thing to do. Bueno, decimos Vamos a presentarlo a la prensa para así lo explicamos una vez. They decide to um, present this to the press. Lo presentamos en Madrid. They, um, they did a presentation in Madrid. En, en enero 2010. In uh, January 2010. Lo decimos simplemente, señores. They announced dos, to dos, dos años, volvemos 2014. They will close for two years. They will come back in 2014. La gente se vuelve loca. And people went really crazy. Loca. But completely. El día siguiente portada en el Financial Times. And the next day they were front cover of the Financial Times. Sí, 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 sí. No, 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 no. It's not a joke. El bully cierra dos, dos años. Saying, the bully is closing for two years. Y nos hemos vuelto locos todos. Todo. And Francis, but has everybody gone mad? Me llama todo el mundo, no puede ser, no puede ser, no puede cerrar. Ferran's getting calls from everybody saying, you can't close, you shouldn't close, why are you closing? Y empiezan las especulaciones. And uh, that was when speculations, different speculations started. Ferran Adrià está arruinado. That he, uh, he was in a financial ruin. Ferran Adrià se ha enfadado con su socio y con su hermano. That he's uh, broken, he's split up with his partner and his brother. Todo. Y es la primera vez en mi carrera donde veo que las especulaciones pueden matar el proyecto. And that's the first time he realizes that this uh, level of speculation could kill the idea of the project. Mm. Y me obliga a, a explicar cuál es el nuevo, cómo voy a volver a abrir. And that forces him to um, quickly find a, a way of responding to um, the way in which he will return, how he will reopen the bully. Bueno, yo había pensado cuatro o cinco posibilidades. He had like four different five possibilities. La que más me gustaba era irme de vacaciones. And siempre. one and one of the the, the the most interesting was was going on holiday for a few months. No, y mira hacer conferencias por el mundo. And going to conferences claro. around the world. Bueno. Entonces, estábamos hablando, hablando con mi mujer. So uh, he in a conversation with his wife. Y me dijo, "Mamá, estábamos hablando, digo, mira, si te vas ahora eres un cobarde." She said, "If you give this up now, you're a coward." Has estado, has liado una, una historia en el mundo de la, de la cocina y ahora a mitad del partido te vas. You've created such a fuss and now you're going to give up in the middle of the match. Ah, yo no quería volver al restaurante. He didn't really want to go back to the restaurant Habíamos as a restaurant. Habíamos recubierto una tapa y, y no podía. They had already covered a, a, a good part of their lives doing mm. something they wanted to change. Entonces, lo que hacemos es Voy pensando, digo, pues mira, no tengo hijos. So he started to think, well, he doesn't have children. He, tengo, he tenido suerte en la vida. He's been very fortunate in life. Podemos generar riqueza. We can generate uh, wealth. Vamos a hacer una fundación. Let's create a foundation. Oh, podríamos hacer una fundación y dar dinero para una, una ONG. We could have, of course, made a donation to any NGO. Pero esto es la mejor manera de que la sociedad se puede aprovechar de esto, de nosotros. But the best way um, to give something back to society. No. Nosotros podemos dar a la sociedad más con nuestro talento, con nuestra creatividad. They realized that they could give something back in the form of creative talent. Y decidimos, de una manera muy subconsciente, decidimos hacer un, un think tank, un centro de creatividad. And in a very subconscious decision, they decided they would create a think tank. Bueno, utilizando la, la, la cocina como lenguaje. Uh, using uh, cuisine as a language. Donde todo se va a compartir por internet. Where everything would be shared online in internet. Y, no, y no, lo explicamos. And that's what they explained. Nos lanzamos a la piscina. And they threw themselves into the project. En el subconsciente había cosas que te, te daban una cierta seguridad. Subconsciously there were some things that they, that gave them a sense of security. Pero bueno. Esto para mí. But that was for Ferran. Lo, lo explico. When he told people about this. Y nadie me entiende. Nobody, under, nobody understood. Nadie. But nobody. Sí, ni mi equipo. Not even his own team. Yo digo, vamos bien. And he realized, oh dear, we have a problem. Sí, esto es que es algo nuevo. It's because it's so new. Bueno, 
y así a partir de aquí empieza el proyecto. Y vosotros podéis decir, bueno, tanta historia, pues esto es cocina. And you might think, well, what's the fuss about? This is just cuisine. Bueno, los cocineros, la misión que han tenido siempre es cocinar. Uh, the chef's, most uh, chef's mission in life is to be, to cook. No, aunque durante la historia se ha creado. Toda la historia es una constante creación. Although through history we find creativity and continuous creation. Pero su misión es cocinar. But their basic mission is to cook. Y sobre todo reproducir las recetas. And basically they reproduce recipes. Después hay una serie de gente que puede evolucionar un poquito estas recetas. And then there are certain uh, people who will um, develop these recipes, they will make them a bit different. Bueno, y donde la historia también ha evolucionado las recetas. And you will see that through history, a lot of recipes have developed, have evolved. Las pueden mejorar. Some have improved. No, no. Después hay la combinación de productos. Then there is the combination of products. Sí, que es crear. That means creating. Muchas That's veces porque step. mira, hemos ido a América, hemos encontrado un tomate, ¿no? Y como teníamos aquí la berenjena, pues hemos hecho un tomate con berenjena. So imagine you go to South America, you find a tomato, and you've got an eggplant here, and you, and you combine these two products, so you've got something new. Sí, sí. No, no, no. Así, se, así ha nacido la cocina. That's how cuisine was born. Y después hay una serie de gente Then there's a series of people que muchas veces por suerte most of them have had o sea, good fortune or been lucky enough buscaron la parte más alta, más alta de, de la creatividad. have tried to reach the highest level of creativity que es más o menos en todos los campos, que es la, lo que yo llamo creatividad conceptual, bueno. Which you will find in all um, uh, levels and different fields, which is the highest level of creativity. Esto es una tortilla. This is a, an omelet. Aunque me parezca que no, pero bueno. Doesn't look one, but it is. Alguien se le ocurrió hacer una tortilla. Perdona. Alguien se le ocurrió hacer una tortilla. So somebody came up, somebody must have come up with this idea. La lógica es que alguien rompió unos huevos fritos, se los rompieron y hicieron allí más o menos una tortilla. So logic would say that probably somebody, um, somebody dropped the eggs and they fell into a pan and that's how the first omelette was born. ¿Vale? Y lo fue, era plana. And it was flat. La rellenaron de cosas. And they maybe added a filling to it. Bueno, y después hubo alguien que le dijo, ostras, vamos a hacerlo, la vamos a hacer... No, como la francesa, aquello. And then somebody decided to do like a French omelette. Y la hizo. Y la hizo. And they made it. Y gracias a esto hicieron miles de tortillas. And so thanks to this they did thousands of different kinds of um, omelets. De gambas, de queso, de with, hierba. With cheese, with prawns. ¿Eh? Y hoy ahora podríamos hacer otra una tortilla nueva. And today we could create a new kind of tortilla. No, uh, ahora omelette. mentalmente podríamos hacer algunas aquí. Mentally, I'm sure you could come up with one. Nuevas. A no new hay one. Hay, es decir, el, la combinación de posibles tortillas no cabrían en Google. The, the combination of possible omelets would not Mira fit in Google. Mira que cabida en Google, ¿eh? And hay, Google's big. Hay miles, miles de millones. But there's thousands of millions of different combinations that are possible. No, no, no lo creéis, ¿no? You don't believe me? Sí, sí, hacer. Try and think about that. ¿Eh? Bueno, esto es lo que ya, esto es el máximo nivel que hay en creatividad en cocina. This is the highest level of creativity in cuisine. Bueno, fijaos, vamos a ver otro ejemplo, un hojaldre. Uh, for example, a milfui. No, no pastry, ¿no? Pastry. 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 <risa> esto pa parece que se, se creó hace 500 años. So apparently this uh, was created about 500 years ago. Es mágico. And it's magical. Como sube en un horno, es de las cosas más mágicas. It rises in an oven. Bueno, gracias a esto, se han Thanks hecho to tartas. this, we've created tarts. Con crema. And we could fill them with cream. Y con estas cremas, con cientos de frutas. And with these uh, creams, we could uh, add different, hundreds ¿Eh? of different kinds of fruit. Con mil hojas, ahora sí. And uh, now a milkweed. <laughs> que podemos rellenar de todas las cremas que queramos. And we can also fill this with the different kinds of cream. Muchas elaboraciones. Bueno. So that there are many different kinds of elaborations. Okay. Y, y todo este rollo que os he explicado antes. And this whole um, talk that I've been giving you. Vale, es para poder crear esto. It's 
in order to create to be at the top level of creativity. Porque esto se puede medir. Because this can be measured. Bueno, si la creatividad se puede medir. Creativity can be measured. Es si eres el mejor, no. But you can't measure whether you're the best. Pero esto sí. But this you can. El bully ha hecho el 80% de la creatividad conceptual en el mundo en los últimos 20 años. In the last 20 years, the Bouilly has created 80% of the world's uh, culinary creativity. Figuraos, ¿vale? en una, una empresa de tecnología hicieron lo mismo. Imagine a technological company did the same thing. No es porque seamos los mejores, ¿eh? It's not because they're the, they're the best. Ni mejor, ni, aunque hay un gran equipo. Although there's a great team. Porque has hecho un, hemos hecho un modelo para poderlo hacer. But because they created a model in which allowed them to do this. Nos transformamos cada cinco años. Because they continuously transform themselves every five years. Que son las veces que habéis visto cerrar seis meses But la cocina. ¿tá? Decisiones que hacen transformarnos. Those decisions that he numbered before, all those different moments throughout the history, have allowed this transformation to happen. Bueno, y la nueva ya tenía que ser radical. And so the new one has to be completely radical. Lo que cuidado... Necesito una chica que tenga una minifalda. Um, Fran needs um, a volunteer with a miniskirt, a girl with a miniskirt. <laughs> Please. Please, somebody. Por favor. Come on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> bien, bien, bien. <laughs> ¿Tú también? ¿No? Ah, o sea. <risa> bueno. ¿Sabes quién creó la minifalda, no? So, do you know who created the miniskirt? Anybody? ¿Cómo? Sorry. ¿Quién? Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Oye, pero... Mary Quant. Mary Quant. Pero a ver, a ver, no os entiendo. Estáis en... A ver, sobre todo los chicos. A mí la chica me da igual, pero que no sabéis quién creó la minifalda. I, no I can understand the girls not knowing this, but the guys. Estudiar menos, eh? You need to study less. <laughs> Mary Quant in 1960 y pico, ¿no? In Mary Quant in 1960 something, I don't know the exact date. No es verdad. It's not true. No es verdad. It's not true. Este, ¿Usted no ha visto las películas de romanos y de egipcios? Have you seen any of those movie, movies on the Romans and the Egyptians? Oh, Mary Quaint la conceptualizó. Mary Quaint, actually, she conceptualized the miniskirt. No lo mismo esto en, en esta chica tan guapa que en un romano aquello, ¿vale? No. A, a skirt on this really pretty uh, woman here is not quite the same as on a Roman, right? Claro. Con esto, ¿qué quiere decir? So, with this... Que lo importante es no ser el primero. He would like to state that it's not about being the first. Es quien lo conceptualiza. It's about being the person who conceptualizes it. Esto en, en vuestro mundo es fácil. In, in your world it may seem quite easy. Entre comillas. More or less. Las patentes. Because, well, there's a problem with patents. En, en cocina no hay patentes. In, uh, you don't have that in cuisine. No. Thank you. Eh, eh. Bueno, y ahora, <coughs> bueno, em, ok. Entonces eh, presentamos el proyecto, empezamos a trabajar, y ahora vamos a, pre a presentar, ahora el proyecto está que por un lado está el proyecto arquitectónico presentado en, el ayuntami en, en la administración. So, um, this uh, project has developed and they've already presented the uh, plans to the different uh, administrations and local um, officials ahora, to be able to construct. Y el 4 de octubre presentamos en Madrid. And on the 4th of October they will be doing a presentation in Madrid. Con Telefónica. Together with Telefónica. El, un proyecto que nos marcará un poco el, 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 el nuevo paso para lo que es la fundación. And uh, they will be presenting the project which will be, which will indicate the first steps the foundation will take. Pero explico un poco cómo está ahora, el, porque veis un poco el proyecto arquitectónico. And so he's going to give you a, a little idea of what the architectural plans will be like. Bueno, el Bulli <coughs> está en, en un sitio precioso. 
The Bulli is in a very beautiful part of the world. Rosas, Catalunya, España. Tiene rosas in Catalunya, in Spain. Bueno, es un parque natural. It's a, it's surrounded by a natural reserve. Bueno, por lo que no se puede hacer nada raro. So there are lots of limitations uh, with regards to construction. Es un sitio precioso. Really beautiful place. Vale, que en esto es el uno de los motivos por lo que no hemos cambiado de lugar. And this is also one of the reasons why they haven't moved from there. Durante diez meses no veo un humano. And for ten months they don't see, they hardly see any human beings. Ah, oh. aquí veis. Eh, el bulli es un es una un sitio muy sencillo. It's a really simple place. Oh. Y lo que hicimos fue buscar un arquitecto experto en sostenibilidad. They uh, looked for an architect who was an expert in sustainability. His name is Enrique Ruiz Jelly. Porque era vital la parte sostenible y ecológica. Because it was fundamental to keep um, environmental issues and sustainable sustainability no, issues in mind. Empezó a trabajar sobre una teoría muy muy extraña. He started working on a very strange, unusual theory. Que es la, la de eso de las partículas. Uh, which is uh, bad little particles. Y Contamos con una empresa, una fundación que se llama Fundación Tecnalia. And then they found another company, it's a foundation called Tecnalia. Para que el Bulli Foundation sea una referencia en el mundo a nivel de sostenibilidad. So that the Bulli would become, could become a reference in sustainability. No es muy grande el nuevo proyecto. It's not a very large project. La primera misión del Bulli, del Bulli Foundation, ser, ser un archivo de la fundación, de el Bulli Restaurante. The first uh, main part of it will be an archive. Eh, aquí veis la parte antigua que se va a quedar tal cual y esta es la parte this, nueva. This is the new part. The, the restaurant itself will remain the same. Bueno, tenemos más de 5 o 6 mil documentos antiguos del Bulli. They have over 600 different kind, different documents about the Bulli or referencing. Y la segunda Bulli. parte el, el creativo cent, el, el centro creativo. And the second part is a creative center. Y aquí tenemos una cosa muy importante que es el lugar donde tenemos que pensar. This is the area in which they will do the thinking. Esto sí que es de esto. Esto estamos trabajando con, to, con cantidad de gente. ¿Cómo tiene que ser un lugar para crear? They've been talking to lots of people about what kind of spaces are good for um, thought process. Entonces, Google, yo sé que trabajáis mucho sobre esto. And Google, we know, uh, does a lot of work with, with bueno, regards to this. Bueno, nosotros, nosotros vamos a ver, vamos a aprender de todo lo que hay y vamos a ver qué so podemos aportar. They're learning about uh, about this and see what they can create. Después va a haber un lugar de brainstorming. There will be another area for brainstorming and conferences. Es este. Conference room. Es un lugar para 30 personas, vamos a trabajar solo 30 personas. There will only be uh, 30 people maximum working at the same time. Y tiene que ser posible para para poder hacer un, una reunión, proyección, and it has todo. to be a bit flexible to allow project uh, be a projection room, a meeting room. Esto es así, este edificio es así. This building will look exactly like de, de, this. Bueno, entonces estamos con todo como vosotros, con todas las máximas tecnologías. So they will be using uh, the best technologies. ¿Cómo tiene que ser? Bueno, este espacio. Um, and they would like to try and see what this, what's the best way for the space to work. Y después work. estará la, la cocina actual. And the, the kitchen as it is now. Bueno, will remain. ¿Dónde estaremos creando? And that's where they will be developing creativity. Bueno, estamos creando. Y cada día se divulga por internet. And every day they will be posting their developments yeah. online. Nuestra referencia es el taller. Their reference is the taller, the workshop. O sea, hemos estado durante 11 años haciéndolo. For 11 years they've been working with the workshop. Eh, eh. Entonces este es el espacio, es un espacio muy pequeño. This space which isn't very large. Vamos a trabajar 30 personas. They're going to have these 30 people working Esto, there. Esto el vice, vice Presidente del MIT, Israel Ruiz, es de mi barrio. The president of the MIT is from uh, Ferran's neighborhood. Es un, sí, sí, es un chico catalán. He's a, he's a Spanish guy called Israel Ruiz. Bueno, y, y estamos hablando mucho sobre la cantidad de personas que tienen que, que tener los equipos creativos. And they've been talking about what the ideal number um, of members should form a creative team. Y, y los dos estamos de acuerdo. Más de 25 personas no puede ser. And they've both come to the same agreement that it shouldn't be larger than 25 people. Tú puedes tener 25 equipos de 25. You can have 25 
teams of 25 people. La idea es que habrán, somos 11 personas fijas. So there are 11 core members who will be permanent members of the, of the foundation. Cada año vendrán unos 15, 17 cocineros que tenemos que encontrar que sean los más creativos del mundo, que sean fichables. And every year they will uh, try to get 15 or 17 um, chefs who will be available to go and spend some time there. No solo jóvenes, eh? Not just young people. Creativos. They have to be creative. Me da igual la edad. And it doesn't matter how old they are. Habrá unas becas para ellos. They will find um, some kind of sponsoring. Y cada día, ca y después habrá un equipo de seis, siete personas. And then there will be a team of like about six people. Que quiero la gente más loca del mundo. And he wants the craziest kind of people to form part of that team. Gente de nuevas tecnologías. People from uh, new technologies, diseño, architecture, arte, design, art. Serán los agitadores. They will be the agitators. Dos, estamos viendo, a ver, dos, tres veces a la semana. And uh, they're trying to figure this out, but uh, for two, three, two, three times a week, vendrá una persona a estar con nosotros y nos hará una charla de una hora y media estar con nosotros. And they will have guests who will come and give uh, like talks. Y será el agitador. And there will be another kind of agitator. Bueno, entonces esto lo estamos, es lo que está, empezamos a trabajar el 4 de octubre. They're working, um, and this is one of the things that they will be discussing on the 4th of October. La verdad es que estamos muy ilusionados, estamos con el proyecto. They're very excited with this project. Como estoy con, en Google, sí que es importante esto. And, uh, Yo, being, ejemplo, Google, más. and being here at Google, this is very significant. Un, uno, esto se va a divulgar por internet. One, because it's going to be uh, po paste, uh, posted online. A tiempo real. And it will be on um, live, real. real. No a tiempo real, a, di a, a diario. It will be communicated daily. Entonces, hay un, una parte del trabajo que tenemos. ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de divulgar? So one part of it will be, one part of the work right now is to find what is the best way to communicate. Conocimiento. Knowledge. Que funcione, ¿eh? That will be functional. Yo, sinceramente, Google lo, lo, lo hago para trabajar. I, uh, he uses Google for work a lot. Bueno, no, no, es fantástico. It's amazing. Bueno, entiendo que hay gente que es para jugar y tal y tiene que ver de todo. Uh, some people may use it to play, of course there, uh, there has to be a bit for everybody. Pero ¿cuál es la mejor manera de divulgar? But what's the best way to um, communicate knowledge? Video. Is it video? No video. Not bueno, video. Seguramente con, ¿vale? hablaremos con todos los expertos. So they will talk to all the experts. Esto llegará por internet a todo el mundo. And this, the idea is to um, send this to all the world to be available and accessible to all the world. 2014, no habrá problema de idioma. Los traductores serán perfectos. In 2014, there won't be any language barriers. The translators, the online translators will be perfect. Trabajar un poquito más rápido, por favor. Please uh, get this advancing a bit more, improving. Y entonces, hay millones de cocineros en el mundo. So there are millions of, of chefs around the world, cooks. China, India, China, India Latin America. Latin America. Es global. It will be global. Es un idioma, la cocina que habla todo el mundo. This is, um, cooking and cuisine is a, is a language everybody speaks and understands. Pero irá muy directo al mundo profesional. But it will go, it will be very directly um, focused towards the professionals. Bueno, este es el proyecto. So bueno, this is the project. Entonces, eh, el libro. Ok, so today we came to present a book. ¿No? Y dice, bueno, entonces, me está hablando aquí de Marte. So, <laughs> y el, me está hablando de Marte y este libro es de para cocinar en casa. Ok, so you might be thinking, he's talking about Mars, but this is a home cookbook, right? Entonces, simplemente es el trabajo, eh, es lo que comíamos nosotros en el bulle. So this, this book that um, you've seen today, This uh, started, originated with the meals that the staff had at the Bui. Estuvimos tres años para lo que vosotros coméis aquí, que coméis fantásticamente. Um, you know, you have a canteen where you eat really wonderful food. Bueno, pues hacerlo allí. Well, it's kind of a concept that arose from that. Tenemos un, pro un problema, que es el presupuesto. They had a bit of a problem with the budget. Como Google es muy rica. But Google's got more money. <laughs> No tenéis problema, nosotros no. You don't have a budget limitation. Entonces, tenemos un presupuesto de 3 o 4 euros por persona. So basically the Bulli, they had a budget of 3 to 4 euros per person per meal. Entonces nos encontramos genial que 
la mayoría de gente en el mundo no gana más de 1.500 euros. And they realize as well that most people on average don't make a, don't have a salary higher than 1.000, 1.500 euros per month. Y era mágico hacer algo para ellos. And uh, he thought it would be great if they could do something that was accessible to all those people. Compartir lo que hemos hecho. To share what they've uh, done y la gente and created. Iba, la gente iba a comer igual que el bulli. And they would be able to eat like they ate at the bulli. Com igual que nosotros. Uh, as the, uh, uh, like the staff ate. Entonces hicimos, bueno, cogimos las recetas. Cogimos las re la recetas. Bueno, So they, they uh, worked on these vale. recipes. En el bulli somos 75 personas trabajando. An important uh, thing is that uh, the team is made up of 75 Come, members. Comemos a las, cenamos a las seis y media. They have dinner at 6.30. Y para nosotros es muy importante el comer muy bien, como para vosotros. Um, and for them it's really important to have a good proper meal, like I'm sure you do qué? as well. No, 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 yo estoy cuando fui a San Francisco, vi, vi vuestro, vuestra... El comedor quedé impresionado. When Ferran went to San Francisco to the Google headquarters, he was really impressed with the canteen. Lo explico en, todo, en todas las conferencias que And he, continues, que he continuously talks about this in a lot of the conferences he goes to. Joder, es muy fácil. Si comes bien, estás más contento. If you eat well, you'll be happier. Y trabajas mejor. Es que And you tan... will work better. De nosotros es igual. Aquí nos veis comiendo. So this is the staff eating their family meal. No, no. De, claro, el problema que había es que esto era para 75 personas. Of course, they had a bit of a problem because they had to cook for 75 people. Y nosotros, el 50% de la gente es una o dos personas. And then they realized, while they were preparing the recipes, um, they thought, well, most ho households are made of one or two people. Sí, yo no entiendo los libros que... Todos los libros de cocina son para cuatro. Most uh, home cookbooks are made out for four people. No entiendo. Sí. He doesn't understand why. No, pues... Eh. Sí, sí, estoy en estudio y el 50 y pico por ciento de la gente en Europa es una o dos personas. There's a study that says uh, 50% of the households in Europe is made up of one or two members. Entonces a, unos, a, a los chicos que trabajaban en el Bulli. So he took some of the, the, the younger, los stagiers. The, the stagiers at the Bulli. Los más eh, flojitos. Um, they were the less experienced ones. Y tenían que ir a comprar al supermercado. And they had to do the test, they had to go and do the shopping. Y hacer la receta para dos. And do the recipe for two people. ¿Eh? Y aquí veis... La misma receta. So you see on screen the, the recipe being carried probaba? out no. two people and 75 people. Sí funcionaba. And they had to test out whether no, it would work. Que trasladarlo. Y, y a because, veces no es multiplicador. And because they had to transfer this into the recipes for this book, sometimes yeah. it doesn't exactly multiply exactly. Sobre todo el tiempo. Especially time-wise. Bueno. Y la verdad es que, que vimos que el 90% de las cosas funcionaban sin problemas. And they realized that uh, about 80, 90% of the things worked without any problems. They, they were fine. Eh, este libro, sobre todo, a mí me ha servido para reflexionar qué es lo que pasa con el mundo de la cocina en casa. Uh, working on this book um, really made Fran think about what's happening with home cooking, why people are not cooking at home. Algo estamos haciendo mal. And he realized that the professionals maybe were not doing their job right. Más blood de cocina que nunca. There are more uh, food blogs than ever. Todos, más televisión, food que nunca. More food on television, food shows on television than ever. Todas las revistas de cocina, de, de, de... There are hundreds of magazines and other publications talking about food. Y la gente no cocina en casa. And yet people are not cooking at home. ¿Qué hacemos mal? What are we doing wrong? Yo llevo tres días de gira, por lo que aún me falta un poco de tiempo. He's, uh, Fran's only been on this tour for three days, so he pero, still needs a little bit more time to think. Pero el problema que, creo que el problema que hay es que no hemos sido honestos. But he thinks that the problem is that uh, we haven't been honest enough. Por lo que decía antes. What, what he said earlier. Hay que dar comida sencilla, normal, para gente normal. We have to give normal people normal food. Y no estamos hablando del bulli, ¿eh? And we're not talking about the bulli. Esto es otra historia. That's a totally different story. Yo no puedo encontrarme en YouTube receta fácil para casa. On YouTube, Fran could find lots of recipes, easy, Pizza. simple recipes for home cooking. Pizza a la margarita. For example, so-called so easy ones, like margarita, pizza margarita. Si yo, tú llegas a casa y te pones a hacer una pizza a las 7 de la tarde, ¿vale? estás dormido, ¿vale? No, y aún no está la pizza. If you get home uh, from work at 7 o'clock and you start making a pizza from scratch, 
You will have fallen asleep before the pizza's ready. A mí me encanta la pizza. Fran loves pizza. Comer pon. Comida, comida para casa los sábados para hacer con los niños. And they should point out that this is cooking you can do on Saturdays when you have time for your kids. Mucho, hay que, mucho, falta pragmatismo. We need to be much more pragmatic. Y el libro queremos que sea algo más que un libro de cocina. Queremos que la, nos haga reflexionar. And we want this book to be more than just a cookbook to make people think about home cooking. Escomba ya me ha dicho que una, es una novedad que no quien la sabe. Scott que me ha dicho porque no, que me, ha, me, ha, me ha explicado una novedad que ni él la sabe. Oh, Scott has announced something that even he doesn't know, something new. <laughs> que va a coger a 31 personas de vosotros. He's going to, oh, he's going to take 31 of you. Bueno, y tenéis que hacer un menú cada uno. And you've all got to prepare one of the menus. Y colgarlo en internet. And you have to post it online. Google. Google. Para ver si funciona. And you've got to try and see whether it really works out. De acuerdo. <laughs> Um, we're going um, we're gonna to take a little bit of time for questions. I know a lot of you are really dying to ask uh, Ferran some questions. If you have a question, please line up at the mic because we are recording this. We want to capture your audio. And I want to remind you at the end, um, you'll have a chance to buy the family meal. I've already looked through and found several things I'm hoping to try tonight. Uh, and, and you can then line up and have him sign the book. Um, so if you have a question, please line up. We have time for, you know, maybe five to ten minutes of questions. So anybody have anything to ask? Please stand at the mic. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about how you used to hire at LBE and what, what are the kind of traits and qualities that you would look for in your staff? Muy fácil. It's very easy. Los mejores me decían cuáles eran los mejores. The best told me who were the best. Sí, 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 sí. That's true. Decir, Gesto Blumenthal. Heston Blumenthal. Me enviaba al mejor would chico send, que tenía. Would send him one of his best. Vale, no. Los mejores cocineros del mundo me enviaban a los chicos que mejor tenían. Some of the best chefs in the world would send some of their best. Se, se jugaban la cabeza. So they were basically at a risk there. Porque tenían que quedar, ¿no? Sí, sí, era muy they had to look good. La diferencia con ahora, One major difference, que ahora quiero creatividad, no quiero buenos profesionales. Here it's all about creativity, it's not about being the best chefs. Y esto exigirá un, un examen muy, muy duro. And so this will require a very um, strong procedure. Dejábamos venir siempre a cuatro o cinco chicos muy jovencitos de escuela. And they would also, uh, part of the stages would be made up of like four or five uh, kids from different culinary institutions. Because that way it also was open to the very young. But Fran would like to recommend to everybody that you try and get a chance to work at a restaurant for a week. Yo he tenido muchos, muchos eh, profesionales de vuestro sector que han venido. Uh, friends had a lot of professionals from your, um, your medium. Y sobre todo, porque vais a ver una cosa que es la inmediatez. Uh, because you will see something that's immediacy. Es decir, cuando vas a, a pedir un café, como tarden dos minutos, te enfadas. When you go and order a coffee and you start getting irritated. Y esto es algo en nuestro ADN. That's still like part of our ADN. DNA. No es que seamos más listos o que, que seamos más trabajadores. It's not that we are smarter or more hard working. Es que está en nuestro ADN y tenemos esta inmediatez, tenemos we, que hacerlo. That's what we expect, we want immediacy. Sí, yo he tenido la suerte de trabajar con los grandes arquitectos del mundo, con los grandes diseñadores, con los grandes, muchos, muchos grandes. Friends been fortunate to work with some of the best in the world, the best architects, the best designers, dicen, the best no, no of the best. Tanto, eh? And they would say, don't rush, don't run. Es muy interesante. Thanks for coming in. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, so, quick question about your talleres. Uh, where do you start uh, when you come in in the morning in terms of your creativity, and where do you go with your workflow? El taller. Mm -hmm. Al final, la creatividad es muy sencilla, ¿eh? Creativity is quite simple, really. Ahora van a estar en, 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 en Londres una película que se llama Bully Cooking in Pobres. Uh, a film 
that will be opening in London quite soon. It's called Bouilly Cooking in Progress. Donde se ve el proceso creativo de, del And Bouilly. this film um, summarizes the, the creative process at the Bouilly. Y es muy fácil. And it's quite simple. Tienes una idea. You have an idea. La desarrollas. You try and develop it. Si funciona. If it works. La, desarro la desarrollas más. You develop it further. Bueno, el problema es tener la idea. The problem is trying to get the idea. Tú o yo nos podríamos hablar de dónde podemos encontrar las ideas. You could both have a conversation about where you can get your ideas from. Hay modos para encontrar ideas. Other ways of finding ideas. Pero está en miles de libros. But you will find there's lots of theory in books. Pero esto lo lees y no te dan ideas. ¿eh? And that theory doesn't really give you the ideas. Es, es muy sencillo. Uh, hay que tra yo te trato la creatividad de una manera muy normal. Ferran likes to treat and deal with creativity in a, with a very normal attitude. Yo cuando veo a alguien que está allí sentado, aquello que le sale humo, que parece que es un estrés, tal, no lo entiendo. When Ferran sees people really stressed out and their heads smoking and they think that's not the way. But is he trying to create a new tortilla or is he trying to, to create a, a completely new concept beyond that? Hombre, el sueño es crear un concepto. The dream is to create a completely different concept. No. Pero muchas veces nos, nos quedamos en la tortilla. De But sometimes it'll end up being just a tortilla. No. No. Ya ves. Pero ja, sí que es verdad que el, 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 la exigencia que nos ponemos es la tortilla. But the demand is, you know, try to at least reach the tortilla. Lo que este sería un, una de las cosas, ¿eh? That would be just one part. Tenemos que hablar de todos los procesos creativos. No, no. It would take a long time to talk about all the different creative el, processes. El es más un concepto filosófico que otra cosa. The Bui is more, much more a philosophical concept than anything else. Pasión por lo que haces. It's about the passion for what you do. Libertad. Freedom. Compartir. And sharing. Y riesgo. And risk taking. Esto es el Bui. That's what the Bui represents. Da igual si haces una tortilla it doesn't matter whether you do a tortilla una de construcción de pollo al curry. or deconstructing um, chicken curry Hi. so we have time for I'm afraid one, one more question and then we'll wrap it up Hi. sorry guys so you've created a lot of amazing innovations we know that every year you have something new but also we know that it's very, it has been very limited to amount of people that actually could try it Have you shared it with some other people or other restaurants that we can still explore the innovations or it has been kept within a buoy? You mean, has like, he shared it outside of the buoy? Exactly. Okay. Saben que es muy difícil haber llegado a cosas tan sencillas, pero creo que si alguna de las cosas que has preparado o creado, aparte de servirla en el buoy, has en algún momento compartido estas El bully, esta, este espíritu que, que he explicado, the spirit um, that he referred to earlier, es la gran fuerza del bully. Is the, the greatest force behind the bully. Hemos influenciado a miles y miles de chicos. This has inspired uh, hundreds and thousands of young people. Unos en el espíritu. Some have been inspired spiritually. Y otros en cosas más concretas como la tortilla. And others in more concrete ways like developing a, an omelette or a tortilla. Para que hagas una idea. So that you can have an idea. En Restaurant Magazine esta lista de los You know the restaurant, restaurant magazine, the list they compile. Que es tan mala como todas las listas. It's as bad as any other list or ranking. Y yo he ganado cinco veces. And he's been at the top five times. Pero es criticable como... But decir. it's, you can criticize no, no. it just as much as you could es any other. La referencia en el mundo. But it's a reference right now in the world. El número uno, Noma, ha trabajado en el bully. No, the number one right now on the restaurant list worked at the Bui. Dos, Roca ha trabajado en el Bui. And the, the, the second person on the list, Roca, also worked at the Bui. El tres, Mugaric ha trabajado en el Bui. And the third person on the list, Andoni from Mugaric, also worked at the Bui. Cuatro, Botura ha trabajado en el Bui. And number four, Botura <laughs> also worked at the Bui. Quinto, Gesto Blumenthal es mi mejor amigo, uno de mis mejores amigos. And the fifth person is Heston, and he's one of uh, Ferran's best friends. Sexto, Gran Achat de Alinea ha trabajado en el Bulli. And the sixth on the list is Gran Achat from Alinea also worked at the Bulli. Esta es la fuerza del Bulli. That's the, the, the strength behind the Bulli. Oh, 
lo más contento que, que estamos porque somos this, amigos. This is the, the greatest thing because there's still friendship. Son alumnos míos. They're former alumni. Pero yo lo que quiero es que sean mejores que, mi, que yo. But Fran would like them to be even better than he was. So before, before we go, uh, I'd like to thank a few people uh, for AV, uh, Ides and Dave, food uh, services, our esteemed chefs, Jim and Adrian, and Chloe Cooper, who is the force behind organizing today. Thank you very much. This video will be posted on the, um, the Authors At channel on the One London page. Uh, and of course, um, now you have a chance to thank Chef Ferran Adria for coming, pick up the book. We have uh, to celebrate our 10th birthday today as well. Um, there's cake and sparkling wine for you. Buy a book, enjoy some wine, enjoy some cake, get your book signed, and you can have a further chat with the chef. Please join me in thanking him for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.